Hi everyone, welcome back. I think it's the 13th day today of the coronavirus national lockdown here in South Africa. I'm still fishing and I'm still hunting. And in this video, I'm hunting another Impala ram. And afterwards, I'm cooking up some traditional South African skull pikes. Notice that a lot of my hunts are solo hunts, and um, it's not always possible to get good footage, um, especially in the areas where I hunt. Most of the areas where I hunt, the game are really skitties, making them very alert and very tense. A lot of the times, you only get about two to four seconds that you can take a shot, and you have to decide do you want to also try and capture some footage or just take the shot you will see in a lot of the videos the actual shot wasn't captured or I just missed it I'm also by no means a professional videographer or photographer or video editor um, as a matter of fact I don't have any experience in filmmaking the whole idea of our channel is to bring you the real deal and maybe through this we might just inspire someone else to get a little bit more out in the outdoors with a little bushwalk. I'm just going to wait it out for a while. At least I'm downwind. So if I can find them in a clearing, I might be able to stalk them. You can hear the Impala Rams fighting.
porcupines inhabited this barrow. But not just them. By the looks of the skulls and all the bones here, probably a brain in there as well at some point. In the winter months, it really gets dry in this area. In the last probably five years, it was very, very dry. And later this season, September, October, there's a lot of game that just doesn't see it through. I'm going to leave this herd. They went in the thickets. Uh, it's a large herd and um, it's a little bit difficult stalking them. So I'm heading off to another area looking for another herd. I was watching this ram for about five minutes and uh, he was very tense, he saw me at first but there's a little water tub here and uh, he decided to drink water nevertheless and uh, big ram, big bodied and a good trophy as well but I just couldn't get a shot in I wanted to take a neck shot for some meat and um, I just couldn't five minutes watching him and I thought I'm gonna have this ram but when he stopped drinking he just left and didn't stop I spotted a single ram and um, try stalking to get into this, to get into a position to take a shot. The wind is a little bit against me, but I might just get a little cut to get a shot. He's standing in a really open field, and that gives me advantage. That was a beautiful ram, very large body, tried for a high, high neck shot here, yeah there it is, it's looking away from me. This morning I pursued a herd of uh, approximately 100 impala and I pursued him for a while, I couldn't get close enough to get a shot in and I decided to, to leave them and went off to another area and in this area I found this ram in the open field and um, I managed to stalk him and got in a shot, clean shot, neck shot and it just dropped there so um, I'm really glad it's a very big bodied ram as you can see and so um, 
it's today I think day 13 of the coronavirus lockdown and um, I'm stocking up on protein so I'm back at camp I finished dredging the Impala and as was expected the Impala is really fat it is the end of the wet season and um, the Impala rut is about to start so this ram hasn't worked at all this season and um, there's a lot of fat I'm going to use his skull fat um, to make me some real traditional South African skull pikes with its liver. I've chopped some liver, try to get it as fine as possible. So first what I want to do is add some cake flour. Okay. I'm going to add some onion, finely chopped onion and then um, some Worcestershire sauce if you've watched the previous Impala hunt it was the same, exactly the same ingredients because it's still the lockdown the coronavirus lockdown so I'm very limited on my supplies here you go and um, a little salt And spices again. I've got steak and chops. And some black pepper. Then you mix it up. The cow fat in, uh, in square pieces. Some bigger than others. You can see this cow fat has a lot of fat on it. filling so you want to barbecue or cook them the skull pikey on the fire or you can fry them in a pan there you go there you go now we have some real nice skull pikeys I'm gonna cook some for lunch and then the rest I will save for later. 